The Wounded Warrior ride is coming up, everybody, and I got my guys Shane and Roro from the Guam Hogs there in studio. Having, Half a day. Having rolled right up here, so thanks a lot, guys. Half a day. Thanks for thanks joining Thanks for us. having us. Okay, Shane, tell me all about the Wounded Warrior ride and for people that may not be familiar with the event. Um, well, this is going to be our eighth annual Wounded Warrior ride, um, and what we do, um, our club primarily focuses on children, but we've, we've always taken part in the Wounded Warriors ride that has been happening from the USO. Um, so the first year we, we helped them out with it. We just basically participated. Second year though, we collaborated together and made it happen together. Third year, we, we pretty much took it over from the USO. And now it's a Guam Hogs Motorcycle Club um, event. And we do it every year. Um, we've uh, we've uh, kept it solid at on November 11th so that we can piggyback off of the Veterans Day ceremony that always happens every year. And basically, in a nutshell, what it is is uh, uh, we come together, all the motorcycle clubs come together, um, host this event, we do a big ride, and then have a big after party afterwards, and that whatever we generate from that party and selling the merchandise of the ride goes to um, local um, veteran associations. Mm -hmm. When we first started out, the first three years, it went straight to Wounded Warriors Project. project. Mm -hmm. Um, na national. The national program. Right. Yeah, but um, over the years we decided, you know, especially when we took it over, we were like, you know, why not keep it local? Guam has a ton of veterans that need help. Yeah. Um, we also have a ton of veterans organizations that need help, so um, we try to generate as much money as possible to donate to these organizations. We don't actually do anything directly for the veterans. We give all the money to the veterans organizations and they help the veterans any way that they can. Outstanding. Now, Roro, you yourself are a vet of the U.S. Army. You're a combat medic. So you're used to being someone who takes care of wounded warriors and everything. Yes. So, so what does it mean for you and, and for all the other guys in the MC who served, you know, to be able to do this? Um, for me, it, it, it means a lot for me. I mean, this is, when I first came home, I, I uh, didn't really have an outlet as far as um, what I was going through as far as PTSD and, and, and um, help with all that I need and when I found out about what our club was doing with the veterans or, or uh, veterans um, wounded warrior ride um, I took it to heart because it means a lot you know it, it means a lot to give back to those those guys who served our country who served our island and are proud to, to say that they served uh, and for me I feel proud every single time I do this ride this particular ride because we we get to to as a whole island um the whole motorcycle community comes together not you know certain groups you know have their own little thing but this this combines everybody the unity of of um, everybody coming together for one goal which is our veterans mm -hmm. and giving back to them this part that part always makes me feel proud for, for serving our island and serving our country as well. Now, you guys, Shane, um, gave me the privilege of letting me cover like the Unity Ride a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Last year, in fact, now yeah. that I think about it. Um, it's just so amazing to see all these different clubs and you see everybody, then they say, hey, I haven't seen you like in a while. Everybody goes, gives each other like a big bear hug, says, how's mm -hmm. you doing, how's the family and everything like that. I mean, it really is a proper community and all you guys believe in the same thing. You know, you all love to ride, but you also, you're all proud Guamanians and you love Guam and you want to continue to give back. Absolutely. Actually, that's, that's the best thing about this ride other than the fact that we get to help veterans and veterans organizations is, is it's, it's really quickly turned into a feel good thing that every single motorcycle club on Guam could come together and plan and do together. We have the unity ride and then every single club has their events that they do every year and we all participate with each other's events. But this is the this is the one big event that, um, though it's a Guam Hogs Motorcycle Club event, we can't pull it off anymore without without all the, the help and support from all the other motorcycle clubs. And and every year it gets bigger. We get more and more attendance and more and more participation from all of the clubs. And um, and it's just not it's not just the motorcycle community. You know, we have the veterans organizations who receive the money. They're still motivated to come and help and donate and and um, and you know put in the work at the at the event itself and um it, yeah it's just it's a lot of fun because there's so many moving pieces and everybody's help you know holding down their their task and mm -hmm. ultimately i mean we always get it done and we always do a great job well you guys are used to organizational leadership and well we got about 25 seconds uh left so let us know how we can help 
you guys complete your mission? You said like it's buying merch and it's you know helping you guys out. How can we find you guys? And sure. How can we um, stuff? It's gonna be open to the public. Um, mm -hmm. It always is. Um, generally, we keep it confined. We've kept it confined to just Harley Davidson the after parties after the ride um, this, this year. year. We're moving it big time. We're moving the actual Veterans Day event also down to EPAL. So we're going to reserve all of EPAL and it's open for everyone to come down and enjoy. Nice. Beach goers, uh, it's everyone. It's going to be uh, November 11th. Um, it's a Saturday, so everybody will be able to come down, have a good time, barbecue. We're going to have bands. Um, we're going to have. Um, so maybe some games, beer gardens, and food trucks. We're going to ask some of the food trucks to come down and, and support the event, too. Very nice. Well, let us know what we can do to, uh, sure. again, help you guys pull off the very amiable task that you guys are doing. So thanks a lot. Great. Thank we'll you. We'll see you there. All right. Thank and we you. will see you after this break.